Hey guys, T-Max here again and welcome to another video and as we're now in January it means the transfer news is booming, there's rumours about so many players, there's new confirmed signings, there's players going all over the place and things are getting very saucy in the transfer market. And because of that I went out and did some research guys which means in today's video I'm going to be showing you some confirmed signings as well as some crazy rumoured transfers so if you're going to enjoy this video make sure to smash your like as that'll be very much appreciated. If you want to see another one of these types of videos hit 150 plus likes because there's more players i can cover that i've not yet covered so if you want to see that guys make sure to drop a like and if you're not subscribed guys subscribe so you don't actually miss out on any other videos now jumping straight into this the first player we have is Arturo Vidal now he's been rumored from a move from Bayern Munich to Chelsea now I myself am a Chelsea fan so I'm not gonna lie to you guys I would be very excited to see that happen Vidal is a really good player and he would strengthen the Chelsea midfield even more I mean we're already doing all right at the moment but Vidal is that kind of player that will take us to the next level the rumors about this have come out due to the fact that Vidal has actually been on Instagram liking posts talking about a reunion between him and Conte and for those who don't know Conte used to actually manage Vidal when he was at Juventus which is why a move from Bayern to Chelsea is even more likely to happen and if Chelsea do go on to buy him we're looking on spending 34 million to make him one of the Chelsea regulars. Now Vidal isn't a confirmed transfer he is a rumor transfer as I said so we might see him coming to Chelsea at the same time we might not but this guy you can currently see on the screen Oscar will be leaving Chelsea. He's been confirmed as one of Shanghai SIP PG's new signing they bought him for 60 million pounds which is a record signing in the Chinese Super League and the guy is going to be paid 500,000 pounds a week that's just over 71,000 pounds a day the Chinese League just needs to chill I know they want to be noticed but come on 500,000 a week and even though that's a lot that's pretty much nothing compared to this guy right here Carlos Tevez has got a confirmed move from Boca Juniors to Shanghai Shenua and with that move the guy will be earning 615,000 a week I mean a lot of people might not like him after this but come on you can't blame the guy he's gone from Boca Juniors which yeah it's a known team but it's not as big of a team as other teams to moving to Shanghai Shenua and becoming the highest paid player in the world I mean you can't really blame the guy yo the guy's making moves now going on to a rumored transfer with Marco Rice now he's been rumored to move from Dortmund to Arsenal for a while now from articles I've read we're told Arsenal could seal Royce with a big pay rise but if you know anything about Arsene Wenger you know that he ain't gonna really want to pay those high prices for players if you know what I mean and to be fair to him I don't know how Ozil's chilling on 200,000 pounds a week but the rest of the players at Arsenal apart from like Sanchez are just nowhere near so to be honest with you guys I don't think this will end up coming through because I don't think Arsenal will be able to meet the funds to actually get Royce but if they do fair play to them once again guys you need to realize this is only a rumor I think Royce has got a contract for with Dortmund that will allow him to stay there till 2019 so I don't see him leaving before that and Royce also seems like a really loyal player and the only way Arsenal will probably be able to get him is by paying a ridiculous sum of money which I don't really see them doing so yeah that's one of those transfers I don't think will actually go through but if it does Arsenal would have actually gained a key player because Royce is class moving on we have Julian Draxler now Draxler has actually been playing well in the past couple of seasons he's now been confirmed as one of PSG's new signings and I really do think this guy will play well there and it'll actually be really interesting to see how he plays for PSG and it was actually bought from Wolfsburgs for what is said to be around about 35 36 million or the add-ons on top of that is rounded at a 40 million price and in terms of FIFA and trying out different types of hybrids he'll actually be a good player to use mainly because he's good himself there's decent players you can link to him I use his Wolfsburg card quite a lot and you might have seen it in my last video so it'll be interesting to try out this new card when it is released now here we have the craziest transfer rumor of the video Cristiano Ronaldo on a 250 50 million move to an undisclosed Chinese club. I mean, there's been talks that it's been 250 million, 300 million, but still, that is a ridiculous amount of money for one player. But then again, he is the best player in the world. Not opinion, but fact, as he does have the recent Ballon d'Or. And if Cristiano Ronaldo did, in fact, take this offer, he would have been on 100 million pounds a year. That is just like, it's an unthinkable amount, guys. 
And although this is a rumor, guys, I can pretty much tell you this isn't happening. Ronaldo's already said that he wants to stay at Real Madrid. Not too long ago, he also signed a contract keeping him at Real Madrid up until 2021. So this guy isn't looking to move, but still, an offer of that magnitude is crazy, guys. Couldn't even imagine Ronaldo in the Chinese league, to be honest. Maybe if he was still playing at like freaking 45, he might freaking decide to go down. But now, no, never. And to finish off the video, I thought I'll go off something a bit different, something we've never really seen on FIFA before and that's a legend coming back to actually play onto a team that's in the game so as you can see here Veron is currently a legend and he'll be returning to his boyhood club Estudiantes in Argentina now there's two things pretty insane about this and the first one being that it's a legend card and obviously he'll be going into a team that's already in FIFA so it's interesting to see what will happen there will they give him a new card will they just take his legend card and pretty much link it to Estudiantes what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section because me I have no idea but I can't wait to see what they do with that and the second pretty cool thing about him pretty much moving to his boyhood club is the fact that he won't be keeping any of his earnings that he's getting he'll pretty much be donating them to the club i don't know what situation the club's in at the moment if it's struggling if it's not but either way it's a nice gesture for someone who's classed as a legend as you can see there he's got a legend card to come back to his boyhood team and pretty much donate his earnings back to them i mean to be fair to him it is a pretty legendary thing to do they'll never forget the guy anyway guys that is it for today's videos there was some rumored transfer in there some confirmed transfers i thought i'd mix it up and end it with something a bit different something a bit cool heartwarming if you did enjoy this video once again make sure to drop a like as that'll be very much appreciated if we're gonna 150 plus likes i'll bring you another one of these videos i have planned subscribe if you're new to make sure you don't miss my upcoming videos if you guys want to talk to me outside youtube i'm on twitter snapchat and instagram all links are down in the description there's plenty more confirmed transfers transfers and transfer rumors i didn't cover so if you want to see any more let me know and if you know of any yourselves put them down in the comment section let's have a chat let's see what's going on out there and anyways for today that's it from me this is t-max signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya